Fact is, all this week, KIMT News 3 reporters are looking back at September 11th. Unlike my younger colleagues, I was already a working reporter in Philadelphia at the time of the attacks. I was on vacation in North Carolina and was watching the network news as first one and then two jets crashed into the World Trade Center towers on that clear, brilliantly blue late summer morning. Within a matter of hours, I had packed up in North Carolina and was on my way to the Pentagon. A full day had passed by the time this reporter arrived at the Pentagon. Smoke still billowing from the monolithic structure I had always held on to as a symbol of American strength and invincibility. I remember the distinct smell of kerosene, which was in fact jet fuel. You had basically every type of emergency vehicle and the sirens from that. And then on top of that, just a really acrid smell from the burning jet fuel. And to be honest, most of my memories are a little bit fragmented because I was only three years old at the time. When I saw Second Lieutenant Hannah Bourne interviewed about her memories, I was surprised by how similar they were to my own. She and her baby sister Heather were inside the Pentagon daycare center during the attack. A service member showed up at the door and started loading infants into cribs and then just carried the cribs like half a mile to the river. Her mother, now retired Brigadier General Dana Bourne, was serving at Bowling Air Force Base. You know, our world changed, and it took us a while to realize that, I think, after 9-11, that there's no going back, right, that, that things have changed. We all changed. We reporters knew it as we did countless live reports with the burning Pentagon as a backdrop. Three-year-old Hannah drew pictures of what she experienced following the attack and instinctively comforted her sister when her dad brought her to a spot near the Pentagon to explain what happened. Her younger sister, who at four months old really was, was just dealing with, you know, sadness. Who knows where that came from, but she was comforting. The Bourne sisters are both in the military now. Lieutenant Bourne with the Air Force, Midshipman Heather Bourne at the Naval Academy. The biggest takeaways that my sister and I have had have just been from witnessing firsthand how people show up every day and commit themselves to a larger purpose and, and do what the nation asks of them, but also do so much more. Lieutenant Bourne says each September she and her sister reflect on what they can do to honor those who died and the sacrifices made over the past two decades. So I ended up staying in Washington for over a week, and what I remember more than anything else is the overwhelming sense of unity in the wake of the attacks. Democratic and Republican leaders met at the White House with then-President Bush, and afterwards they would hold joint news conferences up on, in, and, up, and up on Capitol Hill. I remember running into then-Senator Joe Biden and Republican Senator John McCain talking earnestly to one another at the Russell Senate office building. It was a different era when leaders of opposing parties disagreed about issues, but somehow recognized the integrity of the other side. I was already well into my career as a television reporter when 9-11 happened, but I was on vacation. I was in North Carolina on that, on that morning. I called the television station to find out you know, what my marching orders were at that point. I was working in Philadelphia at, at the Fox-owned television station. Uh, my boss didn't have a plan right away. He said to hang tight. So we went into Wilmington, North Carolina to give blood and I remember talking to other people who were standing in line, um, and there was a, a collective grief, uh, a unity. I, there was a real pulling together of people on, on that day. I went directly from North Carolina to the Pentagon, and I reported live for at least a week I was there uh, doing live reports. And you know, it was just, uh, it was a chilling experience to see the Pentagon because you think of it as this sort of, it's, it's a symbol of the United States. Um, uh, th there's a level of, of just strength to the building itself and to see it with an airplane sticking out of it and smoke billowing from the structure. And that continued for days after the plane had crashed. Um, that, that part of it was very chilling. And we'll have more after the break.